Welcome back to another video. This one's a little different from the usual devlogs. I want to talk a little bit about the game jam, as well as some possible channel changes in terms of what type of videos I want to make. I participated in the collaboration game jam hosted by Mickey. Unfortunately, I only got around three hours work done before I had to pull out because real life events took priority. The game jam itself was fantastic with the theme, The Unexpected. The winners can be found here. I'll leave a link in the description if you'd like to see what everyone came up with. They were all really good. I'll quickly go over what I had planned and what I actually got done, which wasn't a lot. I planned on making a game where you wake up in a town on top of a cliff with no real story given to the player. The townspeople don't know who you are, but are glad you're willing to help them. The village only has one exit, which is a road bridge, which has recently snapped, so nobody can enter or leave. You speak to two of the villagers each day, and they give you different tasks. For example, one task could be to collect 5 meat, the other could be to collect 10 wood. You'd have to think carefully about what they're asking for, and plan ahead of time, as there is a limited labour system you can use each day. For example, if they asked for 10 wood to keep the fire lit, and you instead chose 5 meat, you'd save one villager from starvation, but possibly kill another of hypothermia. The save and death rates of each villager would be unknown to the player, so it'd sort of be a gamble of who you try and save and who dies. After the fifth day of completing tasks, you'd learn the full story, which is the unexpected. I hadn't fully fleshed it out at the point where I left the jam, but it was something along the lines of you're an alien in disguise, helping keep the villagers alive as best you can. Your race has been slowly enslaving the planet, and forcing them to literally work themselves to death in horrible environments. But you would see yourself at the end credits with all the townspeople you did save. I wanted to add this twist to the game, because if I was playing it myself, I'd probably avoid the whys of the task and choose to help my favourite character, in terms of looks or dialogue. I'd be happy when I saved them, but then when you reach the end of the game, the twist would kick in and I'd realise I've essentially been keeping them alive just to torture them, and the ones who died are actually the lucky ones. I decided to take the rest of the week off from making games and videos, to have some time to catch up on real life stuff. I hadn't really realised until I stopped that I was pretty burnt out. Working on a project every day is very draining, especially when making videos on it too, and trying to keep to that weekly schedule. Because of this, I've decided to try and pace myself and mix it up a bit. If I work on my fish game 24-7, I think I'll probably burn out again quite quickly. Instead, I'll try to work on it for a week, produce a devlog, then either come up with an idea for a different type of video, or make a quick update on a new smaller scaled game. For example, updating my old mobile games, as they're very outdated, or make a new mobile game altogether. I didn't do nothing digitally this week. I decided it was time for a change in my old website. It's been a long time since I've updated it, and I felt like it needed to change. This was the old website. It did have a lot more content and pages, but it was a lot of unnecessary information that is pretty irrelevant. So I've turned it more into a landing page styled website, where all of the content is instantly visible on one page. It still has access to the leaderboard pages for the games, in a more tidy and simplistic way. I haven't fully finished the website, but I think it's a lot better than it was. One video I would like to make, which I'm planning on releasing in a few weeks time, is an income video. I got the idea from Tom. He's another indie game dev that makes awesome devlogs and tutorials, you should check him out. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. He made a couple of videos talking about how much money he's made from game development, as well as his YouTube channel. You always see bigger channels talking about their income from YouTube or game releases, but you never see smaller channels talk about it because quite frankly it can be a bit embarrassing, earning little to nothing from your passion or even full time job. He talks about it from a different perspective, so that he can compare his current earnings to his previous videos and watch his earnings slowly progress, which I think is a really good way to look at it. So I like to make a video similar to that, which I can look back on in the future too. As for creating different types of content, I'm on see all ears. I'd love to hear what you guys would like to see from me, whether it be a small game dev challenge or informative videos where I talk about my personal experience with game dev or Q&As or anything. So if you've got any ideas for a video you'd like to see me make, please let me know in the comments or in my Discord, I greatly appreciate it. Don't worry, I will still be working on my fish game a lot and make devlogs too. Thank you so much for watching.